Hey guys, this is Teague with FTECU. Today we're just going to run down a couple of bikes and give you a how-to and how to remove the ECU, install a bike side harness, and a couple of small things. Today we're going to start with the 08 to 14 Yamaha R6. First thing we're going to do is just show you how to remove the ECU out of a 2008 to 14 R6. First thing you need, 5 mil Allen. Very easy. The seat, you're just going to peel it back like this, expose the bolt. Go ahead and just remove the bolt. Remove the seat and you're ready to go. Now that we got the seat removed, we're just going to go ahead and pull out the ECU. ECU is just right underneath the seat on the Yamaha. It's really easy. All you're going to do is just peel back these tabs. It'll expose the ECU. Pull the pins on the plugs. And there you go. ECU's out. Okay, now that we have our ECU removed, we're going to go ahead and talk about installing a bike side harness into the R6. This is your bike side harness. This is your six pin connector for your data link. And these are the pins that's going to go actually into the back of your of the smaller plug. All right guys, now that we've identified the plug that we're gonna to use to install our bike side harness, first step is you wanna find this white tab. You're gonna to wanna to depress this. You're gonna hear it click. That tells you you're ready to start pulling the pins out of this plug. Once you get to this point and you're looking to identify the wires, it's very important that you follow the installation guide that we send with your bike side harness. Now that we're ready to insert the pins into the plug, it's like I said, it's very important you follow the instructions that comes with your kit so you know exactly where each pin goes in. Just to demonstrate a couple, when you slide in the pin in, you're always gonna feel it click once and then click twice. And that's how you're gonna know it's all the way bottomed out into the pin to the plug. Let's do one more for you. One, two. You look at the back, you want to make sure that it's all the way at the bottom. And then once you have all the pins installed into the plug, you can go ahead and just click that tab and that locks all these into the plug. All right, guys, we've, now that we've inserted all the pins into our ECU plug, just want to make sure that you lock the back plating that we talked about at the beginning. Um, you're going to see that you've got a couple exposed wires. Um, at this point, it's very important that you look at your installation guide to know exactly which wires connect to which. Um, as you can see, one's got a male and one's has a female side, and they just connect like so. Okay. We also provide you with some heat shrink tubing. You're going to go ahead and slide that right on over, like so. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and connect the two wires or pins. Slide the heat shrink tubing over them. And then you get your heat gun and at that point you're done with the installation.